now we can just uh, feed our wires back in and there we go our nest doorbell is now installed you can see it sticks out a little bit which is actually i think probably a good thing thank you again to the folks at wazerstein this is the wazerstein vertical adjustable mount this one allows you to tilt your camera down or up depending on the location of your camera if you have a lower camera, you'd need it to look up some. If you have a higher up camera for whatever reason, not camera, doorbell. If you have a higher up doorbell, you'd need it to look down. If you have a lower doorbell, you'd need it to look up. So this mount solves all that. Official products made by Wazerstein for the Google Nest battery doorbell. So it's guaranteed to work. And as always, we're going to get on the overhead rig, unbox this, and then we'll go outside to my doorbell, actually hook this up so you can see this little thing in action. So let's get into the Wazerstein vertical adjustable mount for the Nest doorbell battery. Please click that like button, click subscribe, and indulge in your life and indulge clothing for the merch. All right, so this is the Wazerstein vertical adjustable mount. As I mentioned, it's made to tilt your camera like this. As you can see down here, made for Google Nest, for Google Nest doorbell battery. Wazerstein at the top, even Wazerstein at the bottom. Wazerstein logo and a little disclaimer that this product has been certified by Wazerstein to meet Google's compatibility standards. And then basically Google's not responsible for this product. Here you can see adjust viewing angle for your doorbell up to 10 degree vertical adjustment. Easy installation, weatherproof design, and that is uh, kind of what it would look like on the wall without the uh, doorbell on it. So let's open this up. Nothing else in the box. And so a uh, nice little guide here. Looks like this will help you with a lot of your information that you may need. All of the screws, all of these screws and anchors you would need. And then this is the actual item. So it looks like this part clips down into this part where you've ran your cables through and everything. And this is adjustable through this little screw here, little Phillips head screw, where once you get it set however you want, whether you want it down like that, or you want it flat like that, or kind of like that, you just tighten your screw. There's also a screw on this side. All right, well, that's essentially it for the vertical adjustment mount by Wazerstein for the, for the Google Nest doorbell battery. Let's uh, take this outside and set it up. And one thing just to clarify here for people, when you put this on your door, this goes first. And then if you're using the wires, you run them through. And then this part clips onto here. Now, the one thing I wanna show you is, yes, this is the W logo for Wazerstein, but if you, if your doorbell is lower than you'd like and you need to uh, you need to be able to tilt this upward, then yes, you can put it on this way and then you could have your doorbell here tilted upward to, uh, to help you. So this W does not have to be straight. This can go on in either direction. I wanted to make sure that was very clear before I got into the installation. Now with the doorbell off, uh, remove this plate because you're gonna need that plate on your Wazerstein accessories. All right, so I've kind of lined everything up here. So this is the plate with the two screws needed. I'm not gonna need the anchors. Once the plate's on, this snaps into that plate, whichever direction you need. And then once that is on, use these two screws to put this plate on and then put your doorbell back on once you run your wires through, of course, if you've wired it. And so since I'm since I'm just testing this mount and not going to continue to use it, I'm not even going to make another hole here on my door. I'm just going to go ahead and mount this. Now, as I mentioned, this can go either direction that you need it, whether you need it this way or you need it this way. Right here at the bottom, you can take like a knife or something to pop it back off when you don't need it anymore. So let's pop this on. There we go. Now this piece is on. Next, we'll take the plate, put the plate on, and then we can pop the nest battery doorbell back in place and figure out our adjustments and there we go now our plates on so we're ready to put the actual nest doorbell battery back onto the power now we can just uh, feed our wires back in and there we go our nest doorbell is now installed you can see it sticks out a little bit which is actually i think probably a good thing all you got to do once you figure out if you want it lower or higher is just tighten that little screw right there and you're all set. That's it for the installation of, of the Wazerstein vertical adjustable mount for the Google Nest doorbell battery. Out of everything, this will actually be probably the only one I can keep and use. This extends my doorbell out some and uh, gets it away from this brick edge. So with this in place, I get a little more field of view. All right, so that essentially does it for the Wazerstein vertical adjustable angle 
for the Nest doorbell battery. Now those are essentially the steps that you would take if you wanted to install this uh, vertical doorbell kit for your Nest doorbell battery. Hopefully I've been able to help you out and let you see exactly what you're getting here. Good quality device too, nothing feels cheap. It all feels very, very solid and is fully compatible with your Nest doorbell battery. So that's gonna do it for this one. Click that like button for me, click subscribe, indulge in your life at Indulge Clothing for the merch, and we'll see you in the next video. Deuces. Last but certainly not least from Weiserstein is the Google Nest battery doorbell wall plate. This is something that I think the uh, Nest battery doorbell should have came with anyway, but it didn't. This wall plate, I think, will make it look a little nicer, depending on your setup, of course. So as always, we're gonna get on the overhead rig, we'll unbox this, and then I'll go put it on the side of my house so you can see exactly what the Wazerstein wall plate for the Google Nest battery doorbell looks like. The Wazerstein wall plate for the Google Nest doorbell battery. Wazerstein at the top, Wazerstein at the bottom nothing on the sides and the back clean up holes or marks left by your old doorbell that's very true durable easy installation weatherproof design give a clean look to your google nest doorbell now i was personally sad that the nest doorbell did not come with some type of plate like this already so uh, i'm very glad to see that let's open this up from the folks at weather time nothing else in the box they gave a much bigger manual, your uh, screws and anchors. Looks like they even gave you an extra one because there's only two holes on this thing. So they did, they gave you an extra anchor and extra screw. Very nice to Wazerstein. But this is essentially it. You'd run your uh, cables through here and you'd be able to have this plate mounted on the wall with your Nest doorbell battery plugged in right here. So I think this will make a very nice look. And luckily I got the black one considering I already have the uh, ash black doorbell. So this should go together uh, very nice. Now, sadly, due to my doorbell setup, as you can see, this will not fit on my house. But essentially, essentially you would run your wires through this. You would use the two excluded screws to mount this. And then, and then you just remount this and remount this. And so essentially, that's what it would look like. Gotta use your imagination a little, but I hate that I can't mount it, but it does look pretty nice, I think. There's a uh, more straight on view for you so you can completely see what it would look like on this wall plate. And that will do it. I hate I had to cut this one short. Uh, this is one that I was really the most excited for. As you can see, there's just not enough room for this wall plate on my doorbell. 